Do you ever just feel like... Today we're going to be making Blobby from Herdell Transylvania in Blender. I'm just going to overview the settings for creating a soft body and the materials. First off, I took a screenshot of my pure ref board of pictures I found of Blobby and I brought it into Blender to model him. I'm going to be modeling him with metal balls. Make sure you turn the resolution up and the influence down so you can get more layers to the base or else it's just one big blob. Next, I converted this to a mesh because the physics we're going to be using only work on mesh based objects. We're actually going to be using a cloth modifier instead of a soft body because it's faster to compute and you can get more control over certain pressure settings. I only played with the pressure and stiffness settings. The pressure is what makes the mesh look like it's blown up and with the new blender update there's a new setting called fluid density which makes the mesh behave like there's fluid inside. Just tweak the settings until you get something you like. I set up my scene and camera and I cache the cloths in. Now I modeled the eyes. The eyes are just two spheres with one smaller and flatter on one side. The key is in texturing, going into edit mode and assigning the different rings for the eyes. The outer sphere is just a clear shader with the transmission set to one the reference all the way down. The goo is made for a transmissive green material and the bubbles inside were just a hair particle instance emitted from the volume. The tip is you gotta use the same goo material but then flip the normals of the particle instance so it looks like there's bubbles inside. Southern Shoddy goes through this in a video and I'll link it down below. After the three point lighting system I use my studio lighting add-on that you can find on GitHub and a little chromatic aberration in compositing, and that was the final. Please subscribe to get more Blender tutorials and creative process walkthroughs soon.